It's gone from being this sort of small community pediatric hospital to being one of the premier children's hospitals in the world. A hospital that's better run than Texas children would be hard to find. In my eyes, probably the best place in the world. They're just there to set you up to succeed. It's been pretty exciting to see what's been happening. We're creating the possibilities to be able to effectively translate these discoveries. They work on the neural stem cells. We're trying to understand how we might better control processes that regulate the for the diabetic. molecular mechanisms and muscle contraction and the role of calcium. Identified in over 400 mutations that cause neurodegeneration. Help young women who undergo chemotherapy preserve their ovaries. Entirely new strategies using DNA chips. Brought in a whole new dynamic of molecular. Why biology. can't we do this with lots of other diseases? Our generation of scientists, that's what we're called to do. There are no limits in this institution as to where we might go. This is just the tip of the iceberg. In terms of ability to take care of kids, I mean, this is where it's at. There are truly no walls. The only walls are your own ideas. And it really is a place that you can accomplish anything you want if you put your mind to it. All the resources, all the personnel, all the technologies are really incredibly located within these few square miles. All you got to do is look out this window and you can see what's going on in the Houston, Texas Medical Center. It's thriving, it's growing, it's uh, an organizational culture both at Texas Children's Hospital and at Baylor College of Medicine that really encourage research and expansion of knowledge. One of the fundamental resources that we have here that is above and beyond absolutely most institutions in pediatric medicine today throughout the world is the fact that we have the intellectual power and the resources to carry out the studies. We've gained two training awards, which from the National Institutes of Health, one in hematology, oncology, and one in um, uh, cell and gene therapy, which I think is the only one in the country, which allows us to attract a lot of very good people, so that's been very important. Well, it appears to really envy our genetics. They really envy our uh, infrastructures, specifically related to animal models, that has a lot of applicability to human genetics. They do envy our genome center. Even my mom, who is in Belgrade, knows about Houston and uh, Baylor. People look toward as a place of new innovations, new therapies, new breakthroughs in science. New technology is being brought in almost as fast as it's being developed. And some of that technology is actually being developed here in the Texas Medical Center. So almost as soon as you learn about a new technique, you can find someone here who already knows how to do it, and they're willing to share that knowledge and, and help you to bring it into your research. That alone can greatly advance what any individual can do. But science is no longer individuals. Science is team efforts, and that's what I really love here. The ability to assemble teams of outstanding scientists that work together to solve problems. And there's a lot of interplay among scientists across divisions and across departments. There's a large number of people here who have national, international, collaborative uh, studies going or investigations going with other scientists at other outstanding institutions. We work pretty much with everyone. On, on the, we work with MD Anderson, we have a lot of grants that go in with MD Anderson, with uh, the Methodist Hospital obviously, some with St. Luke's, some with the Herman Hospital, and we have collaborations that are outside the, uh, outside the medical center and outside Houston, outside the country. We work with about 14 different countries in four different continents. I've collaborated with the Children's Nutrition Center with UT Houston. We have collaborated with Texas Children's Hospital in epidemiology to build out the National Children's Study. We collaborate um, with Rice in terms of some biomolecule initiatives. I do a lot of work with the Human Genome Center. I don't have to get on a plane and have a conference call. I run into my collaborators at the coffee shop and we figure out how we're going to go about doing this. So it's just an amazing environment for us to be able to work together. Doing research here is much cheaper than many other places. And so for the same amount of dollars you can do a lot more. 
I think is a real tribute to Dr. Feigen's legacy because Dr. Feigen really brought people together with so much positive energy. I think the vision was really to create this center or hub for pediatrics that extended into women's health and includes pediatric surgery, obstetrics, and gynecology. And by creating these uh, various uh, centers, the Maternity Center, the Neurological Research Institute, and the newly expanded Feigen Center, we have now the potential to create a very unique environment. And it's really focused on a mission that enables us to translate those discoveries and then literally deliver them to the bedside. The research is where we have to go for the future, figuring out what is the next step, what are the areas we need to go into, what's the medicine of 10, 20, 30, 40 years from now. There's been a long latency period between the basic research discoveries and the applications in humans, but I think that latency period is now coming towards the end and we will see biomedical sciences undergoing very considerable advances in the future. So keeping programs going is absolutely crucial and the most fundamental issue there is the individuals who are asking the questions and the intellectual power that allows the collaborations and taking this piece of information and this piece of information and then formulating a new question, new hypothesis, getting that scientific aha that I really discovered something. I'm not sure what it means yet, but now we've got to develop it even further. I'm only as good as all of my neighboring parts can help me be. And so the opportunity to get to see you know, the best and the brightest come in to take advantage of a highly collaborative, dynamic, interactive environment is why we're all here. We're just going to see more and more of this implemented in the clinical sphere and, and this is the place to do it. It's got the right combination of resources to be able to do it. It's a time of searching. It's also a time in which we're really looking ahead. It's going to take a concerted effort, uh, plenty of collaboration, uh, plenty of effective teamwork to really carry on that legacy.